some time with him to see if he is a cat that you might want to adopt. Our next cat is Quetzal, and we did give him that name. So he came to us as a stray, so we gave him the name Quetzal. Um, he is a, a brown tabby. He's about eight to 10 months old, domestic short hair. He was found on East Road and Prospect Road on March 22nd in Mount Airy. And earlier in the show, I talked about Mount Airy being one of those regions where you have a bunch of different counties um, coming together. So. For all we know, Quetzal could be from a home in Montgomery County, Howard County, Carroll County. Um, so it's important, like I said earlier, that if you lose your cat, your dog, and you live in one of those boundary jurisdictions that you file with everybody. Um, as you can see from Quetzal sitting on Randy's lap there, he's pretty uh, all right with people petting him enjoying time on your lap. He's not struggling to get away. We have color coded him orange. Just like with the dogs, we color code our cats based on um, their uh, apt to be held or sit in your lap. So orange is a mid-range color. That's an average cat. Him being a younger cat, if I had to guess, in a home he'd want to explore. He'd probably uh, go all through the house. He'd have some times where he wanted to be a little bit more independent. So Quetzal came to us not neutered. So part of the adoption fee includes neutering him. So uh, his adoption fee is $97.50. He'll be neutered, microchipped, routine vaccinations will be given to him. Adopters get a post-adoption vet visit at their vet and a Frederick County cat license. Um, if you have a cat that needs to be spayed or neutered, please call us. We would love to help you with that. Now we don't ha offer that service at the shelter, but what we can give you is information. There are a lot of programs within Frederick County that allow people to get their cat or at times dogs spayed for free or for very low cost. Um, this is the time when the shelter is slowly gonna see more and more cats coming in. We take in approximately 3,000 cats a year we would obviously love to see that number go down. Cats like Quetzal who are unneutered obviously contribute to that overpopulation of cats coming in. Um, if you're interested in Quetzal, you can stop by the shelter and visit him.